Well, most people think of acoustics, they think of their home stereo system, but what they don't realize is that if they close their eyes for a second, everything around them makes noise. We are a place for our students to get expertise in real-world acoustic applications. There's some very interesting work that goes on at the University of Mississippi. All of the areas that physical acoustics represents is, uh, is covered. It's incredible the number of areas that physical acoustics encompasses and where it shows up and uh, the meaning that it has. This is our Mach 5 wind tunnel. Uh, right now we're doing some experiments with the F-22 Joint Strike Fighter. One of the things we're able to do is actually drop model bombs out of the payload bay and study where they go and how they interact with the airflow. There are no other universities in the United States with a wind tunnel that size, with that capability. This facility gives us the opportunity to really put some uh, fantastic opportunities out there for students to participate in something at a university level that nobody else would get to do at any other university. This lab over the past few years has been able to develop a 256 beam laser Doppler vibrometer that lets us scan the ground and interrogate the ground looking for characteristic acoustic signatures of buried landmines. About every 30 minutes, either a, a mother or a child uh, is known to be either killed or maimed in some way by one of these uh, so-called forgotten landmines. And so that's an important problem to work on. It's an important problem to work on in the university because we can make contributions for this particular problem. Our group also has interest in looking at the assessment of small earthen levees, essentially to determine the structural integrity of the levee using acoustic techniques. We constantly are on the lookout to expand some of the work that we're doing into other areas. We're talking about being able to extend the envelope of operations for an aircraft that's supposed to be able to protect us. We're talking about injured soldier and you want to be able to cauterize a wound without having to cut him open. So they're coming up with instrumentation that actually does that using acoustics here at the NCPA. With uh, fuel cells, they now are applying acoustic stimulation to the fuel cell and have increased the efficiency by quite a bit. We also have people working here on coming up with ways to confine nuclear fusion with acoustics. So we're talking about a green energy source that might be made possible through acoustics. That lets us get graduate students involved and undergraduate students in this, in the, in the study of, of solutions or developing technologies for this particular problem. We've always had students here in this building that have been trained engineering, physics student, that are now out there and they're teaching at other universities. So we've made our contributions and they're actually out working in the industry and making contributions there as well. Uh, they're not just sitting in a classroom, they're actually doing real work and going out into the world and, and uh, presenting the work that they've done and coming up with new ideas. This lab has an international reputation and the scientists in this laboratory have international reputations and their expertise to look at these problems. There aren't many universities that have a Mach 5 wind tunnel like this. And so to be able to put your hands on that and actually do something with it and come up with some new ideas is, is extremely valuable. The uh, instruments that we have designed and built that are now over in Iraq and Afghanistan directly saves lives. We develop innovative techniques using sound to work on real world problems.